Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about January fails and favorites. I don't actually have that many fails, uh, but I have a lot of favorites. So let's just jump right in and get started. So the first two ones I got, it was kind of a splurge this month. Um, they're from Dior. Um, I've actually don't have much from Dior. So I jumped on the bandwagon and bought into the hype of the this rosy glow blush. And I will say it might look scary to some of you, but it is actually so pretty on the cheeks. It like it's funny because for something so bright, it comes on like you probably can't even see it here, but this gorgeous, glowy, soft pink. Um, it's really pretty and I actually think it is worth the money. And the other one is the Dior Lip Maximizer. This is in the color Raspberry. It's actually what I have on my um, lips right now. I really like this color. Um, it's just a pretty, just soft. It actually looks a lot darker in the tube, but it's not. It's a, a pretty pink. Um, it actually kind of, I feel like it's a good mood um, pick, a, pick a upper in the middle of these dark, really cold um, winter months. It's, I live in Massachusetts and we just got this Arctic glass and it was it felt like negative 31 last night here so yeah i popped this bad boy on today because i'm just trying to even if it's in my head get all the spring vibes going um yes yeah, so i definitely love those those were my favorite i also jumped on the bandwagon of the rare beauty the positive light illuminator this is the color in Mesmerize. It was more the um, rosy glow tone. And I will say it is everything that everybody claims it to be. It is it's so silky. It feels like a cream and it just gives, I have it on today. The, I mean, look at that. It, it's just awesome and honestly I feel like okay hello like obviously I wouldn't put it on with my fingertip but just the glow it's just such a soft pretty shimmer the other colors were sold out but this is the one that I picked and I'm actually really glad I got this because I don't have a rosy glow highlighter so if you haven't jumped on the bandwagon, you should, because it really is everything everybody claims it to be. So another favorite for the month. And also jumping on the bandwagon as well. Everybody loves the um, Tarte Sculpt Tape, the contour stick. I love it. I must say, I love everything cream. Give me a cream product nine out of 10 times. I'll probably love it because my skin is so dry like Sahara Desert dry but not in like dry patches my skin has just always from the time I was I can probably count my hands how many zits I've had in my life my skin just doesn't produce oil which is not the greatest especially when you're aging because that's I feel like drier skin people tend to get more of the fine lines earlier and I definitely do from my oilier friends um, I got the color cool bronze um this is good for this time of year for me in the summer when i'm more self-tan and have more of a natural tan i probably would get the warm bronze um but again i do love this it blends seamlessly it is such a great product it's easy to apply easy to blend i think um if you get it you cannot go wrong what else? Oh yes, I got this as a sample. I when I um, put my Sephora order in for the Dior and the Rare Beauty, um, the two free samples I got, I actually ended up loving as well. This is um, my teenage daughter told me that this is 
I've been hyped up on TikTok. I am not on TikTok. Everyone says I should be, but I don't know. I'm just not on. Um, it's the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk. I was a little nervous of this before because I, um, I'm not really a primer girl. My makeup doesn't move. I barely even use um, a setting powder. I powder a little bit around my nose, um, but that's it because my makeup literally doesn't go anywhere. So I use them. I just actually, it's going to be in my um, empties video. I use the um, hydrating, illuminating primer by Fenty Beauty. Um, I did finish that. It was okay. I feel like a lot of the hydrating ones, it, I don't know, sometimes I just don't think they do anything, but this one, I was nervous because I'm like, oh, like grip primer. I feel like this is probably going to be drying on me, but it actually wasn't. They are right. It does give a hydrating feeling and your makeup does not go anywhere. So not that it might really move before, but it does. I feel like it does make your uh, makeup go on a little more seamlessly. It looks a little more flawless. So I, again, agree with all the hype on this little guy, I probably would purchase the big one of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I feel like for you oilier girls, normal to oily, you would really like this. Um, I definitely think if you have trouble with your makeup moving, this would help it stay put. So I have been enjoying using this sample. And the other one, this is my first product from Drunk Elephant. I've been trying to get, I was joking with my cousin, we've been trying to get our hands on those um, tanning drops that they have, but they're always sold out. So still waiting to get my hands on these, but I was really curious because I know this gets really good reviews too. It's the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And I will say, I do love this. I'm going to be sad when this runs out. It is so hydrating. It feels so good on my skin. I use it in the morning. It works well under makeup. Um, and yeah, it, I looked on the Sephora website, it gets like almost five stars. So I can see why it is pricey, um, you know, pricier, the bigger size, but I'm thinking that I might purchase because I think it might be worth it because it's hydrating and I really like the way um, it absorbs and the way it works well with my makeup. Because I feel like some creams, especially where you're drier, um, and so going forward, I mean, my, I will talk a lot about dryness on this channel just because that's what I know. So I'm sorry if you're like oily girl, um, I won't be using a lot of matte products, powders, um, because they just don't work for my face. So a lot of the creams I use tend to be heavier. And with that comes, sometimes they don't always sit that well under makeup. So you kind of have to have one or the other. You want hydration and sometimes it doesn't work well under makeup, but this I feel gives me both. So I'm trying to make this last long so I don't have to pay the almost $70 for the cream. What else? Oh, and then this, I got this as a sample too. Yeah. Oh no. Cause I had an order. I got something um, from, is it Nordstrom? I don't know where I got this. It was either Sephora or Nordstrom that I got this sample, this Olaplex number no. nine bond protector nourishing hair serum. Now I know this is pretty popular too. I do use Olaplex, the strengthening, I think it's four and five, the shampoo and conditioner. So I have been wanting to try this. Um, I do use the hair serum from doTERRA um, so I was going to use that up, but I did want to try this. And I will say, I do like this too. I like the way it makes my um, hair feel when it's wet. And also I put this on the ends of, I have my extensions in now, but um, on when after I blow dry, I dab a little and put it on the ends of my hair and that worked well. I like the way it made kind of smooth the flyaways. You couldn't really tell it was in there. So this is good too. If you guys haven't jumped on the Olaplex serum, I highly recommend that as well. Else. Um, so I also, I mean, I know some of the stuff I've shown isn't technically like clean beauty. I do try to stay more to the cleaner side of makeup. Um, every more and more I'm trying to, you know, swap out 
things that may not have been as clean for something a little bit cleaner, but it is hard. I mean, if you, Clean Beauty has come so far. It really has. I mean, five, six years ago when I was, um, you know, on the bandwagon, you were kind of, it wasn't a lot on the market and the stuff really wasn't that great, but it has come a long way. More bland, brands, brands have, um, you know, jumped on the bandwagon. There's a lot of greenwashing, you know, beauty brands claiming that they're clean when I use the, um, I think it's Clearia, Clearia, I don't know, Clearia app. Um, you can, um, they go Walmart, Amazon, and Sephora, any products you can pull up the ingredient list and they rate kind of like the EWG. Um, and you know, a lot of some brands claim to be clean brands. And when you type in the uh, product, they come up like way over the chart. And then others though, you look and something gets a really high rating, but then you look in the ingredient deck and it's like one ingredient is in like the, not, you know, the bad zone and the rest is all green, like level one, you know, cleanest ingredient. So you kind of have to really dig deep because for me, if it's just one ingredient out of 30, that's deemed bad. That's not always necessarily a deal breaker for me, I must say. So, um, with that being said, I have been loving the Kosas, their concealer, the super creamy brightening concealer. Um, I use four point, my shade is 4.5 and I'm pretty much neutral in most foundations and concealers. Um, it's got the, you know, the doe foot wand. I like the way it blends out. It keeps my under eyes hydrated. It's great coverage and you don't have to use a lot. So, and, and I honestly like the foundation too, this, um, revealer skin improving foundation with, um, SPF 25 it's medium coverage natural dreamy finish. And I will agree. I think it's medium coverage. Um, I feel like for me, because I go for more dewy illuminating, I don't use anything matte, uh, anything long wearing, it's just too drying for me. So most of my foundations are on the medium side. I, um, I don't really want like full, full coverage, especially as I'm getting older. So I would say this is medium, but you can build it to definitely full coverage. And again, I, it's a pump, which I appreciate. I am in the shade light, medium, neutral 200. I don't know if the number means anything. Um, says your dream skin revealed alive, visibly plumped, protected. It's got hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, peptide, squalene, pro vitamin B, arnica, caffeine, and I'm probably going to mispronounce this artemisia flower. It's really nice. I think it's like a natural finish. I would agree with that. Um, it's just a really great foundation. I can't say a bad thing about it. I don't, I hate when they say it won't settle on fine lines. If you're over 40 and you don't do Botox, you have fine lines and everything pretty much settles a little bit. Let's be honest, but I don't think it settles too bad i will say and the concealer so this is a great pair i highly recommend if you're looking for a clean foundation and concealer this kosas one it's my favorite for clean foundation what else oh yes yeah. so sephora knew it was my birthday this month so i picked up uh, i picked the ilia because i love this brand this was the birthday one of the birthday gift sets I love this clean brand. It's the, um, I love the limitless, limitless lash mascara. This is probably my favorite, um, clean mascara. I love the brush. This is probably one of my favorite type of brushes to use. And so I'm so glad I got this for free. And then the uh, multi stick in at last. So I put a little bit on my cheeks before you can use this on your lips. It's just a pretty kind of mauvey pink. You can do it on your cheeks and yeah. So I'm psyched about that. That was a fun little, um, birthday gift. 
And then what else do I have? Oh yes. So I was with my daughter. Um, she's 14, going to be 15. My oldest, she's obsessed with Lululemon and thankfully she also works at a little, uh, breakfast place, um, during school once a week on the weekends vacations. She does a little more in the summer. So she has money to now buy her own Lululemon because the amount of stuff she wants from there is pretty insane. And oops, I'm thirsty. Oh, oh. I can't, I, as I have Lululemon on right now, but I buy kind of like what I need for like workout or athleisure wear. Sometimes I don't, you know, I'm not someone that goes in there all the time. I do like it. Um, you know, it's just, it is on the pricier side. And I feel like sometimes I can find stuff at Marshall's, the, is that the R90X brand? I think it is. Um, that like the fit is just as good and it feels the same and you're paying like $19.99 versus $79.99 for a shirt or something like that. But recently, well, not recently, they've had it for a while now, the We Made Too Much site, um, that you can find great deals. If you haven't checked that out yet, you definitely have to check that out. I've gotten leggings. I actually on the Black Friday sale, um, they're running sneakers. They're normally 150. I would not pay that much for sneakers, but I got on the Black Friday sale and they were 99.99. And so I got snagged a pair and I will say they're probably my favorite running sneaker to date. So they are definitely worth it. I have very flat feet and used to have to wear like lifts in my shoes, you know, the arch, not lifts, the arch supports, supports and, um, I don't with these, they are so comfortable. It's like walking on clouds. So if you want to pay full price, I do think they're worth it. Um, but they do sometimes come up on the, we made too much and you can get them for like $50 off. So I, the girls and I, um, we ride horses, um, and especially me. And when you're older, I feel like when you're riding a horse, you really need a good supportive bra. So to keep the girls in check, um, and I got this off the, um, it was $39 off the, we made too much. And this was actually in the store. They had a rack. Um, this is the energy bra, high support bra, sports bra. So the back is like this. I feel like it is, and it's got like three clips. When you wear this bad boy, your girls aren't going anywhere which is helpful when you're on a horse. But if you, you know, if you run, if you do any high impact aerobics, or if you just want to push the girls down for some reason and feel so supported, this is awesome. They have these a lot on the, we made too much. So you can, and they're normally, I think, oh, this one was 58. I have another one that's a little different design that was, ridiculously high. It was like a hundred dollars, I think normally. And I would never ever pay that for a sports bra. And I think I got it for like 49. So, but they work unbelievable. Like they're probably the best supportive bra, true to size. Um, so I highly recommend checking out the, we made too much site at Lululemon. What else? Oh, lastly, and then we'll go to the fails. Um, some Amazon sunglass dupes. I feel like these kind of are duped to the Celine. I got these off of Amazon. They were like a two pack for like $10.99. I'm a sunglass person. I have way too many. Um, and I love oversized. I think these are awesome. They're so sturdy. They're thick. Um, and sometimes I just like cheap hair so that I don't have to worry about my light. Like we just dimmed here. Um, sorry, it actually got dark out. So that's probably I'm losing light. Um, sometimes I just don't like to have to worry about like being gentle with them if I bought a, an expensive pair. So I really like the way these fit. They are comfortable. They're sturdy and they're like a two pack for 10 bucks. You can't go wrong. There's other colors. Um, I will link them down below. So fails. So there wasn't that much. I honestly... I got a lot of stuff um, this month that I love. So that's a good thing. 
I try to branch out and try some different mascaras, which I don't know why I try to do this because they always end up failing on me. My lashes, I have lashes on now. Um, and I do, I kind of go through spurts. Sometimes I go through a period where I'm putting lashes on all the times. Other times if I have my mascara and it's on point, I don't put them on. But I ran out of one of my favorite mascaras. So I put these on today. Um, they are the Kiss Natural la Lashes. They come in like a box of four. I'll link them down below. You can get them on Amazon, Walmart, Target, you know, wherever. Um, and I try to try different mascaras. But my eyelashes are very picky and they only like certain things. They don't like thick ones. They don't like curved ones. And when I'm at the drugstore, I'm like, oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try to get, try different ones, cheap ones, you know, see if I can get like a fave that's not expensive. And these were huge fails this month. So bad. So going back, my, nat my natural lashes are very light. They're pretty long. I mean, when I wear mascara, they can get good length. Um, I don't curl them. Mine maybe years of wearing mascara since like eighth grade, they just go up. When I have mascara, I don't, I feel like when I curl them, they actually look worse. So I don't tend to curl them. Um, so I like lengthening and voluminous. Um, the first one, this Almay multi-benefit mascara, this was a hot mess. I don't know what they were thinking. It was like, the ones that are supposed to, I don't have the box of me, build like fibers on your lashes. I don't know what the hell they were doing, but it's like a big goopy flipping mess. I used it like a couple times and it was like all like, look, like, what is that? Like, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Right here. It's like they put these little like, fi yeah, like fiber things. I'm like, how the hell is this supposed to stick on your lashes? And who like even really wants that? It's weird. Now I was, because I was upset because they like showed the wand on the box in the back. And I was like, oh, my eyes, usually the lashes like this type of wand, just the basic, you know, nothing funky with the bristles, straight, pointed at the end, no fuss about this. And it was goopy and it just was like running all over the Elme. No, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're doing here, but this is a no. It was a hot mess. Fail. Fail, fail, fail. The next one was, I did keep the box for this one, LA Girl Volumatic Mascara. Now I haven't used a lot of um, LA Girl stuff. So I was like, oh, why don't I, you know, give the mascara a try. It's an instantly volumizes and lengthens lashes, extreme lash lifting formula. You know, the box, the eye looks very nice, but again, hot flipping mess. Like I don't, I don't understand how things can go so wrong. Now I was like, oh, again, like the bristles, like the, you know, shape of the wand. I don't know. It went on clumpy. It's like really wet. And I don't, necessarily hate that but i just felt like it was never drying and it was just it's just like goopy and i don't know just a fail a fail so my the ones that i do love are the ilia mascara um tart lights camera lashes is probably like my favorite but then somebody turned me on to which i need to get because i ran out of the essence um, it's the one with the green writing, the princess lashes or something that mascara. I don't know what is in it. It's flipping unbelievable. It's like four 99. It is, I don't know what they do to it, how they created it, made it, whatever, but for four 99 in their price point, my lashes, I'm like, whew, they look like they have, I have false lashes on. So it is amazing. And I need to go out and buy it again. Um, but that is all. Oh my gosh, my eye is twitching so bad. I'm sorry. I'm like totally distracting right now. It has been twitching all day and it's really going crazy right now. So it's distracting me. Um, that is all for my favorites and fails for the month of January. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and will continue to like and subscribe for more of my videos. I will link everything down below in the description box if you would like to purchase anything. 
Talk to you later, guys. Bye.